Hello, people viewers. Welcome to Mr. Who Reviews. And they have you, Family Guy, once bitten. And in this, after Prime finds out there's something wrong with liver, his doctor just they he gave up bad drinking alcohol. Um, Brian and on do that. So, um, he just, uh, accepts taking some pills, Bethy leaves. The doctor office for right now, they only come in suppository forms. So, here has to put the pills up Brian, Brian's back door. Yeah, I don't think anybody can be about that. I um, only tried one way to get Brian to let him put his hand up there. Put a hole in in a, in a living room and say that the, the family needs a fart in there. I don't know. And when the peer tried to force the pill in, Brian bites him. And he just uh, has the peer doing stuff. Or, like, get back at the mailman, take uh, his bat, get a present for a friend of his. So, a lot of sides to uh, put Brian in the. Uh, in, like, a dog school where he's teaching to behave. And, uh, get a commander or something. Uses his dog whistle on Brian with that horse hit. For him, and uh, just that, drop Brian down to a chair and keep his uh, eyes open while he's watching some horrible stuff. Yeah, that doesn't do this before with that little helper when Mr. Burns gone for a guard dog, and this is just a reference to Clockwork Orange, so it's ring that now. Uh, when Brian goes from home, he very so certain and call him Peter as uh, Sir and so he's just really happy when uh, Brian calls him Master and at first Peter is happy that about like uh, Brian Shane's but eventually he realizes that Brian's just uh, acting like his pet my friend especially when he has uh, that uh, they both pee in the next bed or throw a uh, the tail to clean his door. Um, in the end, up here, decides to do the thing to get that got Brian to buy him in the first place, and I see, and Brian actually apologizes for buying him, but up here saying that's a natural response for somebody putting your hand up there. Yeah, I can't see that with some. Animals, but I don't know about humans, but. Oh. And, uh. They're just going back to being friends, and. They. Both say they're gonna, they're gonna pee in his bed. Yeah, I get my peers doing that, but I thought Brian was the only. A uh, uh, person in the family. Or member of the family that was actually nice. To Meg, but. Yeah, I guess I was wrong, or. The writer of this didn't really know that. Um, oh, oh. I had heard it's a B plot with that uh, Neil Goldman trying to be friends with Chris so he can get a date with Meg. Uh, when he does, he actually feels uh, guilty for lying to Chris and Friday's getting him back. And they're friends again after he's shot. I, don't, I think they only go far. About the B plot is uh, at the end when he as you show Peter throwing uh, potatoes at Clemens' uh, door, Clemens saying a movie of Irish trash. I don't really care about Neil Goldman and I don't know about him being a Jew or anything. I just don't really care about the character. It's not interesting. I don't know if that brain voice was that. Both characters. Oh. I mean, other than the B plot, the episode is good again. And 
no, there wasn't really that much, there wasn't that many uh, funny koi scenes. But the uh, guy in charge of the disciplinary school for the dogs was kind of funny. I'm just seeing Brian being observant to the family or such a Peter was kind of good and the reaction that see we had for Brian called Matt so was just great. And this is uh, la the last line he said in the episode was just good as well. And when he called the lowest said female dog that was funny a little bit. Mm, you know the episode minus the uh, B plot. Um, next time, if you ever wonder what uh, it would be like for uh, Stewie to actually love Lois, they may actually made an episode about it. Um, yeah, it's awfully good episode, but I only, I only remember the A plot of that. I don't remember the B plot, but yeah, wasn't in next week, so I'll see if the, if the B plot and that is better than the B plot in this episode. Uh, until next time, I'm a zoo. See you guys. Later.